Basically, a data broker uh, is a company which uh, collects, aggregates and uh, trades data. So, for example, if you use your mobile phone to post something in social media or you use some other third-party services uh, or you buy something using your credit card, then you leave a small piece of data about yourself, which includes uh, your personal data and it includes also behavior how you behave on the internet, for example. And this data is being collected by the data brokers, which uh, afterwards uh, creates a user profiles. And these user profiles are basically uh, important digital entities that are being sold to other companies which are using for advertisements or uh, directed, uh, direct marketing. The data collected by the data brokers could be used in various ways. Uh, direct marketing or targeted activity, targeted, targeted advertisement could be used either by individuals and it could be used also for a group uh, because if the data brokers collect uh, enough data and they create, uh, they do the uh, user uh, consumer profiling, then it's easier for, uh, for uh, marketing agencies to, to target uh, directly the, the group of interest. So in, in, in general, we could, we could say that uh, the data brokers, they allow or enable the marketing companies to direct, uh, to, to segment the market, basically to segment the, the consumers and allow them more efficiently to, to target the, the, the group of interest. Uh, there are various aspects why we should worry about the data we are sharing. Uh, because the data brokers, they are collecting billions of data, billions of data points. And uh, to be honest, not all data broker companies are really transparent of what they do, what the activities, what they are doing, the operations, what they do. There is a lack of understanding and lack of motivation for consumers to, to, to engage in uh, understanding of user agreements, for example, to, to understand what they consent to when they are using so-called free services. If you give away enough data about yourself, about your behavior, about what you like, uh, who you are basically, uh, what, what are your hobbies and so on and so on, you could become uh, a victim of unwanted uh, targeted uh, uh, advertisement. This would be one way. And you can become a victim of political manipulation. Basically there is the saying there is no free lunch. So if you are using something for free, then you become a product of, of someone, for someone and your data that you produce or your, your behavior becomes a product. Always you have to read what, the, what data is being collected by user agreements. It's completely clear that uh, the data-based uh, services uh, can deliver uh, high-end and intelligent uh, services for, for end user. And we are uh, and everyone is expecting to have uh, high quality services. And we have to pay uh, for those services by giving up uh, our data. We need to ensure that the data we are sharing is managed and traded in a secure way. Therefore, we, the legislation which regulates the data broker industry should be uh, updated and improved. The data collected by the data brokers could uh, threaten your uh, personal integrity. It would put under the question your rights to your privacy. And uh, in military context, you, you could imagine that someone could use a GPS coordinates, of, like shared GPS coordinates to, to track or to ident identify military bases. Uh, there was an uh, experiment carried out by New York Times journalists uh, who showed that basically from one data set they were able to identify secret service agents who were working uh, for a president's security detail. In the conclusion, I would, I would suggest to always pay attention what kind of data we are sharing or even to just uh, do a small research what kind of data is being collected by services we are using. This would help uh, for the individuals to understand whether they put themselves under the risk or not.